This video is to assist you in the assembly and operation of your new Aramist Brisa. We've created this step-by-step -step instructional video to help you get the most out of your Brisa. To assemble your new Aramist Brisa 30-inch dry mist cooling system, we recommend using two human beings, the wrench provided with your Brisa, and a Phillips head screwdriver of your choice. Let's get started. Step 1. Align the Brisa fan pole assembly's mist switch to the ventilation grill on the front of your Brisa. Gently thread the two tubes connected to the power base assembly through the bottom of the fan pole assembly. Step 2. Fasten all four corners of your Brisa's fan pole assembly to the power base assembly with the fasteners supplied to you in bag one. Step three, fasten the electrical housing to the Brisa's power base assembly with the two screws provided in bag two. Step 4. Connect the two wires and place them within the electrical housing, now secured to your Brisa's power base assembly. Secure the lid supplied in bag 2 to the top of the electrical housing. Step 5. Slide the base cover onto the Brisa's fan pole assembly. Fasten the front and back of the Brisa's base cover to the fan pole assembly with the two screws supplied in bag 3. Step 6. Install your Oramist Brisa's mist control unit to the fan pole assembly by using the fasteners provided in bag 4. Step 7. Connect the air tube and water tube to the connectors on the Brisa fan pole assembly by pushing the tubes all the way into the corresponding connectors. Step 8. Remove the two screws pre-installed on the top of the fan pole and attach the Brisa's motor to the top of the fan pole assembly. Align the fan motor with the mounting hole. Fasten the motor by reinserting the longer screw into the mounting hole first. Step 9. Remove the four screws pre-installed on your Brisa's motor housing. Locate the small screw and nut at the bottom of the rear fan guard and position it so it is pointing at the ground. Line up the holes in the rear fan guard to the screw holes in the motor housing and reinsert the four screws previously removed. Step 10. Mount the Brisa fan blade to the fan motor shaft. Make sure the fan blade set screw aligns with the flat section of the motor shaft. Step 11. Remove the small screw and nut from the rear fan guard. Mount the front fan guard to the rear fan guard and fasten them together with a small screw and nut. Then secure all the hinges around the outer rim of the fan guards. Step 12. Connect all six nozzle housings by gently pushing them onto the front fan guard. Step 13. Connect the air tube and water tube to the connectors on the misting fan pole assembly by pushing the tubes all the way into the corresponding connectors. Make the electrical connection between the Brisa motor head and the fan pole assembly. Step 14. Secure the connection with the electrical housing lid supplied in bag 5. Then use the screws and lid provided to you in bag 5 to close the Brisa fan pole assembly.
misting operation. Remove the fill cap on the power base assembly and pour the clean water through the basket filter until the tank is filled to approximately one inch below the bottom of the basket filter. Although not required, you may add a half a teaspoon of unscented chlorine bleach to the water tank at your own discretion. Replace the cap and hand tighten. Turn the flow control valve counterclockwise until it is fully open. Rotate the misting switch on the Breeze's fan pole assembly clockwise to prime. It may take a couple of minutes for your new misting fan to start misting. It is normal for air to exit the nozzles before your Breeze starts misting. Once water begins to flow from the nozzles, rotate the switch to mist. When you are finished misting, rotate the switch to off. The air pump will continue to work for approximately two to three minutes to clear any remaining water from the nozzle tubes. Once the system has been primed, it will not need to be primed again unless the system has been completely drained. Before you empty your Breeze's water tank, rotate the misting switch on the Breeze's fan pole assembly to off. To drain your Breeze's water tank, remove the drain plug from the bottom of the power base assembly. Make sure the Breeze is on a surface that is safe for water to be drained. Once the tank is completely empty, hand tighten the drain plug back onto the power base assembly. To turn the system back on, fill the tank with clean water, turn the flow control valve until it is fully open, and prime the pump before use. The misting function of your Brisa is adjusted by turning the flow control valve on the Brisa fan assembly clockwise to decrease mist density, or counterclockwise to increase mist density. Fan operation. You can adjust the height of your Brisa by loosening the pole lock knob and raising or lowering the fan assembly. Tighten the pole lock knob at your desired height. Select a fan speed by pulling the chain on the back of the Brisa motor head. Once for high, twice for medium, and a third time for low, and a fourth time to turn the motor off. Oscillation Control To activate the Brisa's oscillation function, push the oscillation switch downwards. To stop the oscillation function, pull the oscillation switch upwards. If you ran into any issues with your unit, visit Oramist.com or call 1-800-320-6478 and one of our support reps will be happy to assist you.